Hello, this is Thomas, the armchair karate historian. And today we're going to see a very interesting demonstration taken at the 1989 All Japan JKA Championships. This is a demonstration which includes Mikio Yahara and Richard Amos. If you ever happen to find this book anywhere, Chasing Bushido by Mr. Amos. I recommend that you get it. It's a very interesting book which pretty much traces um, Mr. Amos's steps from the time that he began studying karate until the time that he went to Japan. And there he took place or participated in the special instructors program and was one of the very first Westerners to complete that program. Now what's interesting about this particular demo that we're going to watch today is that it is a part of a longer videotape which I recall when I was actually training JKA style karate back in the, the late 1980s, early 1990s. This tape was passed from student to student and the quality of it was even worse than the one we're going to see here. And the reason why, of course, was this was back in the days of uh, VHS tapes where everybody used to copy off everybody else's tape and eventually they ended up looking oh, well, pretty much, it was almost difficult to, to tell what you were looking at on the screen. So the quality of this particular video is poor, but it's not as poor as the quality of the one that I used to have was. Now the entire video is actually worth watching. And I wholeheartedly recommend it to anyone who is interested in the history of the JKA and Shotokan. Uh, the 1989 All Japan tape includes all of the finals, meaning the top eight competitors for both male and female kata and kumite. And the final match, male kumite final match between um, Kagawa and Imamura was extremely well fought and it is definitely w w worth seeing. It is also a rematch of, uh, of the prior year's final between the same two fighters. Now the prior year, the final was won by Imamura. Now if you want to know who wins in 1989, please watch the entire video. I am including a link to the entire video in the description below. Also another interesting fact is that the, this particular final was fought just prior to the big split, the 1990 split of the JK into two factions, the Asai faction and the Nakahara faction. And of course, as many of, uh, of you know, uh, Kagawa, he went with the Asai faction and Imamura stayed with the Nakahara JKA faction. Now, Richard Amos said who wrote this very interesting book, Chasing Bushido. He's the one, he's one of the participants in this particular demonstration. And in this book, he goes into great detail about the preparations for it and how he trained daily with Yahara and how he you know, tried his very best because at the very same time he was attempting to make it into the JKA's famous instructor program. Now, unfortunately, he doesn't really remember much of the demonstration itself. Here's what he says. The whole JKA world of senior Japanese instructors would be watching, and for me to be the cause of any errors was unthinkable. I therefore threw myself into the final performance in the full sacrificial mode. What actually transpired, though, I have no recollection. As if in a dream, time passed, but I was not present, and I only have the video evidence to confirm it actually happened. He did do a good job, though, as we can see from the video itself. Finally, I do want to recommend this book once again, Richard Amos, Chasing Bushido. I think of it as an update of Nichols' moving Zen. There are obvious differences, 
Movement in Zen took place way back in the early 60s. This is late 80s. Um, Nico went to Japan as a white belt. Richard Amos was already an advanced karateka by the time that he started training at the main JKA dojo. But it's still, nevertheless, a very, very interesting read. If you're interested in the kind of a behind the scenes dirt about things that were going on, Chasing Bushido by Richard Amos is a really, really good book to read. Now, without further ado, here is that famous or infamous Yahara Amos demo at the 1989 All Japan Championships. Thank you for watching. この椅子取りというのは内藤さんどういう演武になりますか。そうですね。鳥というのは空手の技を分かりやすく見せるための実践に即した演武ということですね。特にこのヤハラ選手は大変鳥の上手な選手、え、試合で外国何回ことは大変に受けますね。ああ。やはりこれあの観客に非常にアピールしますね。そうですね。左側はイギリスのリチャードさんです。この大会は外国の方も随分
これはいろいろな場面があるわけですねそうですもう斬新ということが空手の演武にこう引き立てる一つの要素ですね。はい。まあその斬新と言いますのは、まあ心を残すというふうに書くわけですけれども、そうですね。もう少し具体的に言いますと、えー、技が技をかけ終わった後も気迫を充実させたまんま相手がいつ来てもいいような体勢で、えー、まあ心を構えるっていうんですか。ね。まあいかなるけれども隙を見せないとそうですいうことになるんでしょうかね。はい、まあ、こ、う、れ、ん、はいいですね。見事な演武でした。矢原幸男六段、そしてイギリスのリチャードさんの演武でした。やはりこう熟練性が非常に高いという感じがしましたね。そうですね。